Oh, are we rolling? Let me guess. What I want to give you in this YouTube is an understanding of how dieting affects your body and how to work with your body from the inside out to get the results you want. Hey, what's up? It's me, Omega. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And make sure to hit the bell to get notifications for when my next thought-provoking, exercise-inducing, but lifting video is coming your way. Would you like to understand how to use your body's signaling system to help your body feel healthier, help you become more lean, and help you have a better relationship with food and your body? If so, keep watching. So 10 years ago, scientists were just dawning on the concept that gut bacteria and brain function could play an important role in whether a person is more likely to be lean or more likely to carry more fat. Today, science makes it clear that your gut affects your brain, your brain affects your hormones, and your hormones directly affect your body composition. And all this happens at the gut-brain axis, aka the vagus nerve. What I wanna give you in this YouTube is an understanding of how dieting affects your body and how to work with your body from the inside out to get the results you want. So let me tell you a little backstory. I was 16 years old when I started my first diet. By 19, I was training for national bodybuilding competitions. And after taking my win at nationals, I was diagnosed with hypothyroid syndrome, adrenal fatigue, PCOS, and I had gained 30 pounds in three months. Although all diseases are multifactorial, mine was largely due to the fact that I screwed my body up by following very, very restrictive diet recommendations from a well-meaning coach. The simple act of long-term food restriction altered my gut bacteria, so introducing new foods actually caused a huge inflammatory cycle that prevented me from competing or even working out for years. My story is a very extreme representation of what happens in most dieters on a smaller scale, and I'm going to explain how this happens and what to do to ensure that you can maintain a healthy physique long term. But first the question, why does dieting not work? Why do people undergo weight gain after a diet? Why do they gain weight back? What is happening in the body that makes this happen? Not that you needed another reason to blame your mom for something, but a large amount of the culture in your gut, your microbiome, is determined at birth. But even after birth, your food choices are determined by your parents up to a point. So let's just say that you come from a family of people who have a lot of weight they carry around. If you follow suit and have a lot of weight that you carry around, you're gonna actually have to work harder to change your microbiome because it reflects that of your family. But it is possible. So let's dive in. How do you do that? How do you change your microbiome to change your body composition? Firstly, your gut. There is evidence that there are certain gut bacteria associated with leanness and obesity, and they are different. Secondly, your brain. As discussed, your gut and your brain are intimately connected via the vagus nerve. Your vagus nerve communicates with the rest of your body via the hypothalamus, and that alters your hormones. So let's start with the gut. A study in the Journal of American Society for Microbiology, written by Hannah M. Wexler, suggests that certain gut bacteria promote weight gain, while other gut bacteria promote a lean physique. The gut bacteria that promotes weight gain and obesity is Firmicutes. The one associated with leanness is bacteriolides. So remember I said that it is possible to change your gut bacteria and therefore change your weight? Well, this is proof. When rats in this YouTube, link above, were inoculated with a species of gut bacteria associated with obesity, the rats became obese. Similarly, when the rats were given gut bacteria associated with leanness, they would become lean. So I'm not suggesting that you track down anyone else's gut bacteria and give yourself an at-home fecal transplant with a turkey baster. Wait. What? But I'm here to give you hope. You can change the bacterial distribution to favor bacteria associated with leanness, and you do this by consuming more fiber. The gut bacteria that I mentioned before, bacteriolides, is responsible for helping you to become lean because that gut bacteria loves fiber. And it's suggested by an article by Lou at all. More fiber increases the amount of fatty acids, which increases butyrate in your colon, which further helps your gut bacteria communicate messages with your brain that reinforce healthy eating habits. Our relationship with our gut is so important because our gut is our second brain. And I think I made that clear. So now we're ready to dive in and go over how to retrain your brain to work in accordance with the intentions 
for your body. Hashtag body goals. Remember me telling you about my 30 pound weight regain? Well, I'm not alone. Weight gain actually starts to happen in your brain at the hypothalamus. And authors of the article, Mechanisms of Weight Regain Following Weight Loss, details what happens in your gut brain access. Your microbiome communicates messages via the vagus nerve. The hypothalamus gives your thyroid a read on the energy requirements. And if you're in a dieting period, your thyroid is naturally told to slow your roll, homie, because you have less energy or food available. The authors in this article also explain the amount of calories that you burn is dramatically lower after dieting and fasting. So if you go on a diet or cleanse, your body naturally burns less calories. In addition to that, your thyroid starts helping your body gain weight again because it perceives stress. That perceived stress is because of the lack of food, right? Well, when the body is hungry, your body makes ghrelin. If ghrelin tells you when to eat, your gut bacteria tell you what to eat. Over a dieting period, you ignore your hunger signals and that system gets temporarily messed up. What could also be affected is your satiation hormone leptin. As you're eating, the brain is supposed to produce leptin when you're dieting. You're always hungry, right? Again, ignoring signals. So how do we restore that system when we throw it off? Here are the four points I wanted to share with you. In a study in molecular metabolism, authors Sabadine and Johnson showed that hunger and satiation cues can be restored when consuming healthy fats like nuts, avocados, plant oils, and polyphenols like grape extract, pomegranate, and quercetin. So the first two tips I have to promote better brain function and a leaner physique are, number one, decrease your dependency on pro-inflammatory fatty foods, fried foods, processed meat, baked goods. Increase your intake of anti-inflammatory fats those are plant-based fats like nuts, avocados, plant oils. Number three, increase the calories slowly and help nurture your body back up to a normal caloric intake. Number four, check with your doctor to see what type of polyphenols would be right for you as a supplement. Overall, to retrain your brain after a dieting season, you must listen to your body. Easier said than done, I know. As we just learned, diets, cleanses, and strict protocols restrict your body's ability to communicate with you. When you impose these harsh restrictions on yourself, you are dampening your body's ability to naturally tell you what it needs and you're getting further and further away from how your body functions naturally. So you got the info, how do you put this into action? Start with implementing the four tips I had above and then consider doing mindset shift, body and body image shifts, tracking your behavior and introducing intuitive eating. And we are going to be doing all of this in my 12 weeks to wellness program I have coming up on March 23rd. If you are looking to make a lasting change in how you look and feel, then use this momentum to click on the link in the description below to learn more about my wellness program. You can do everything completely online and you will get the support, accountability, and know-how to keep your body healthy and to continue feeling good even after the program ends. There will be weekly coaching calls, group mentor sessions, and a custom health journal that helps you track your progress and live in alignment with your health intention. It is going to be life-changing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, and if you really, really like this video and got a lot out of it, share it with your friends. I love you. Mwah.